Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I'm Lindsay, if you're new here. Today we are talking about spring cleaning and organization. Some of you, with your little eagle eyes out there, have noticed that in my background, my little cabinet here, my bookshelf, has been evolving over the past few weeks. And that's because I have been going to town organizing this place. I think what happens is when you move into a new place, you know, you kind of go through all your stuff at your old place. You determine what you don't want or what you don't need, what you don't use anymore. Then you move everything you do want over here and you kind of just put it away, right? And you have so much going on with the move and different things going on that it doesn't ever truly get organized in a way that makes sense for your new space. I kind of had things sort of where they needed to go, but it wasn't functional and it wasn't really working for me when I was in here and sewing. I needed it to be where I just knew exactly where to go to find whatever I needed. So I went through everything. I kind of took it all out of the cabinet there. I even have a closet where there's other stuff, pulled all that out as well and kind of went back to ground zero with it all and reorganized it. So I'm gonna be showing you the before so you can see what you remember um, from this case, but also the rest of this wall here is all kind of like that built-in um, shelving. So I'll show you the before of what that looked like and then the after, and then I'm gonna go through pretty much everything in this cabinet here. That's where all of my trinkets and notions and little doodads used to live and still live. Um, I've been able to actually move more stuff into this cabinet than I had before because it is so well organized. And you'll, um, I'll show you the products that I've used and all that good stuff too. So um, let's cut to that and then we'll meet back here after we're done. Um, books are up here, but I mean, look at that. There's some over here on the right, the poor little llama, um, book holder bookend is like half falling over. Um, this is supposed to be like all my um, ironing and pressing tools. Um, this is nothing, makes no sense. Again, I have all these little itty bitty bins which I thought were going to be helpful. Let me see if I can move the dress form so you can see back there a little bit. Um, but honestly, they just end up being hard to get to and hard to really see what I've got. Same thing down here, just kind of a mess. And then that's my printer, which kind of does need to stay like out of the way because I don't use it all the time. And those are all the Cricut foils and whatnot. And then up top here, a mess, a mess, makes no sense. No, no, no. Um, and this is all my fabric other than what was in the closet. And it is fairly organized. Although it doesn't look great, um, I can easily find what I'm looking for here. Um, mostly it's organized by, let's see, I did knits on the right and wovens on the left, and then by weight. So we have lightweight, and as we go down, it gets to midweight, and then at the very bottom is like coatings and wools and sweater knits and stuff like that. Most of the organization happened in this section over here. You can see I was able to get all my books, well not all of them, but um, the books better situated between the cute little gold llamas. Those are from Target. Um, and then I was able to stack some books underneath a like vintage sewing machine case looking thing that I got from like Home Goods a while ago. Um, and then you have my bias um, tape maker stored away neatly in there. And here is all of my ironing essentials. Down here I have just some storage that's tape in the back. There's some buttons and those are all the cords I need for my various cameras and whatnot. 
I've got some zippers and a little tray that I was able to empty out almost all the way. This is all my interfacing. Um, these are some cute little baskets that I got recently at Michael's, I believe. And um, they're just little storage bins, super cute. And then down here, are just some storage boxes, my, um, what's that called, pencil sharpener. And then this section here is probably what I can attribute the organization to the most. Um, I got these two bins from Bins and Things. They have a store on Amazon, um, but they're local. Well, sort of local. They're in Atlanta, Georgia. So I was able to take a lot of the little crappy containers I had and consolidate it all into here. I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second, but let me just round out this cubby with my printer and my Cricut stuff. There's like a lot of Cricut stuff in here. So I'm going to pull out the bins and show you how I was able to organize a lot of the little things that we have in them. I think you're really going to love it. Okay, here is the one that's probably my favorite. Um, this is actually three bins that are stackable and they interlock into each other with these little snaps here on the side. So you can, in theory, buy multiples of this and stack them up as high as you need. Um, I have labeled you know, all of the sections depending on what is in there so I can see it easily from the outside, both um, with the label, but you can also see through the bin itself so you can quickly kind of assess what is in there. Um, but the containers, I'll show you the little compartments are really spacious and you can remove the dividers. So that makes for um, really long areas like I was able to put all of my um, freight check and different glues in this section. So let's go through each section one by one and you can see kind of how I was able to get a lot of stuff in this one small compartment. Okay, let's start with the bottom compartment. Again, you just snap off the sides and it just lifts right up and the rest of it stays together in you know one section. Um, and so then you're left with this. And like I said before, the compartments are very, very roomy in and of themselves. Um, I've been able to get a lot of the hardware and I just had like a ton of stuff that was in this kind of packaging and I was able to take it out of its packaging but labeled so I still knew what it was. And then for things that I thought I would be, um, I wouldn't remember, I kept the instructions, just cut them down and then I just throw it into the bin where it belongs. So like I've got instructions for snaps, I've got instructions obviously for making covered buttons. Um, so I was able to keep um, all the information you really need from the packaging. Um, all in one place. If you wanted to go one step further, you could definitely write like the sizes you have and the quantities and you could really go crazy, but I'm not that much of an organizer. <laughs> this is about as good as it's ever going to get. Um, but I just love how I have everything just right here. Um, I know to grab this lower section whenever I'm making jeans or button up shirts or anything like that, I know this is where I'm going to find all the hardware I need for making that, which is really great. Um, you can take out the dividers. They do pull out like so very easy to where you can lay things down in, which is what I did for this miscellaneous hardware section. Right now it just has my overall buckles because I do really plan to make those one day. So this whole bottom section is just dedicated to buttons, I mean to snaps and hardware and the hardware's tools. All right, so for the second section, again, to get it back on, you just lay it on top of there and close it snapped and it's attached again. And then go to the second section, pop it off, and this way you're gonna take off the top layer. And again, these two are still completely connected now. And this really showcases how big and roomy the compartments are. This is a whole bunch of pom-pom trim and I was able to get two of them in this one and one in here. I almost got the third one but it's like a not near not quite as tall as I need. But look at all of this ribbon I was able to get in. This is one, two, three, four, five spools of ribbon 
all tucked away in here nice and neat and you can see the design of the ribbons from the outside and I was also able to get a bunch of used zippers that I've gotten like from old upholstery or um, uh, Goodwill type pillows and different things like that so I rip off the zippers in case I ever need um, just kind of a a scrappy one um so yeah i was able to get a lot in here before i had this these things were all in different places some of it was in the closet that i had some storage in and some of it was in that um the that um bookcase it was kind of all over the place so it's nice now to have it all in one place so if i'm looking for trimmings this is where i'm going to go this second layer here all right into the third layer you just pop off the lid. That's all that comes off for the third layer. Um, let me get you guys up a little bit so you can see in. Okay, so the third layer is dedicated to things like glue. Um, I have the um, Heat and Bond soft stretch um, tape in here. I've got extra needles. Um, I've got all my stay tapes and Velcros and I've been able to separate the sticky kind from the sew-in kind. Um, this is a measuring tape that I use to measure crotch length and crotch depth. And then I've got my elastic threaders. And again, these things were all living in different places. Some of it was an organization that I had on my sewing table. Some of it was in that closet. Some of it was in the cabinet that you just saw. It was all over the place. So now it's all in one handy place. You saw how beautifully it fit within that bookcase. I want to say those bookcases are maybe 16 by 16 square and this is slightly shorter than that but the depth is just about perfect um, and when you scoot it in sideways you still have space on the side for something else which I'm going to show you now. Okay, and here is the other case that I got from Bins and Things. This is called their multifunctional organizer case, and they market it for spools of thread um, or fingernail polish. So if you've got a teenager on your hands, you could also get one for them. But I don't keep my spools of thread put away like this. I have them on those little wooden um, dowel rod wall mounted things I don't even know what they're called um so I needed to get a little bit creative and figure out what I was going to use this case for it is really cool because you can fit in a total of 48 there's a total of 48 compartments 24 on the front and 24 on the back and this section over here comes with little dividers you can make them smaller or like you've seen I've been able I just took them all out and made one long space but really I have in here stuff for my machine um, my this all belongs to my serger these are the little wheels that go with it these are the little nets um, this is all kind of machine stuff this is randomly a um, zipper uh, what's it called scissor sharpener I've got backup knives for my <laughs> serger because I tend to serge over needles a lot and when you serge over a needle you ruin the knife so you have to replace it. So I have two backups. <laughs> um, that's how often I do it. I know, bad sewist. Um, I've got fabric glue stick which I can actually put in this other container so I'll put that away. I've got a thimble. This goes to my, um, my bias tape maker. So you can see it's a little bit more random. Um, this is a point turner. I've got a couple of those in here. So it's just like kind of backup and overflow from the everyday things that I use all of the time. I'll show you what I'm doing with that stuff, but I just wanted to show you how the other side of this works. Um, you just pop open the side here and it flips open and you have your compartments again. These are some headbands that I've used for elastic for different things. And I think these are hair clips that look like, yeah, these are hair clips that look like scissors. I, I don't know. I get very excited on Amazon from now and again. Anyway, so this one, as you can see, has some room to grow. Um, and I haven't, you know, written anything or labeled anything because I'm just, you know, still trying to figure out how to use this one. 
but I do love the concept of it, how it comes with a handle. So if ever I did want to go somewhere, I could put my thread and my bobbin thread in here um, with a bobbin keeper and it would stay all nice and neat and organized. So um, I will continue to fill this one out, but honestly, this one, over here did such a good job all by itself that I found I really kind of didn't need this other one as much as I thought. So, you know, it happens, but I still want to keep it because I feel like I will find some really great uses for it um, in the future. So these are my two purchases from Bins and Things. Again, they're on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description box below, as I always do, um, for where you can find them. Um, if you've got a lot of little things laying around, trust me, this one here is going to save your butt. Um, it's really going to make your organization um, just breeze by. It was just so second nature for me to start putting things in the various compartments um, and then kind of organizing by layer. It just made a lot of sense. And like I said, you can get more than just one and you can stack them as high as you need. Floor to ceiling if you want. <laughs> Go for it. Um, so yeah, these have been really, really great. I love um, I love these containers and they have just been so helpful and useful as I've been sewing with my new organized space. There's nothing worse than organizing something and then going, oh my gosh, it's too organized. Where did I put that? And that hasn't happened with either one of these things thus far. So that's really great. So okay. what did you think? I mean, it really is transformational. What two small um, affordable plastic containers can do for a space. All of those little things are situated in one of those small cubbies now, which opened up so many of the other cubbies um, to be able to house other things that I was having to store somewhere else. So all in all, I'm thrilled with how it had turned out. Um, I've been working in here for a few weeks just to make sure I had it just right. And I really am very, very happy um, with how it turned out. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna ask about a room tour, sewing room tour. Before you even get to the comment section and mention that, I do have one planned, but I was only able to organize really this one wall. I still have a few things um, to make things kind of really perfect in here or as close to perfect as, as I think I'm reasonably going to get. Um, but I keep tweaking things and keep thinking of new ways to reorganize some other areas. So I'm not there yet, but just know that it is not off my radar. I'm just not in a place where I feel like you guys would really benefit from seeing much else of what I've got going on in here. When I show you my room tour, I really want you guys to be inspired by it. So I'm going to wait until all of that comes together. But hopefully um, this will tide you over in the meantime, a little teaser. And if you've got a space that you feel like is working against you, I strongly encourage you to go check out bins and things that will help you organize your space in a way that just makes sewing, not the actual sewing, but the process of sewing much easier and less stressful. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will see you all very soon. Bye.